What's up, everybody? It's Dave Schools. How we doing? I'm putting in my next episode for the hashtag Blogist Challenge. Really quick before I get started, a big shout out to Sam Taylor for getting started. Cool video, brother. Greg, Greg Glyer and Spencer T. Fulmar. Stunning as usual. So uh, honestly, this has been a little uh, challenge for me, but uh, here I am. Here we go. Let's do this, guys. Okay. So what I want to talk to you about today is why I quit my job a couple months ago. And so I'm gonna to read to you an entry from my journal the day I quit my job, like the afternoon that I left. I was sitting on the second floor of the office building, contemplating life and my decision, what I was about to do. But I'm sitting there and I'm writing in an Evernote doc and this is what I say. My heart feels heavy. I want to cry. Just got done hashing through the exit interview. It's a great, great company, wonderful culture, affinity for organization and process, and a place where smart work gets done. Why am I leaving something so good for something so unknown? A couple weeks after that, my wife and I we bought a new car. We loaded it up with everything that we owned. So we gave away uh, more than half of the things we owned, loaded it up, drove seven days across the country to live and start a new life in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. The reason why I quit my job and kind of the whole point of this video and kind of why we're doing this whole hashtag vloggist thing is to examine and explore what, is, what does it mean to live a compelling life. Before me lay two paths. One was renew our apartment lease, stay at our jobs. Steph had a great job in Washington, DC. I had a great job at one of the top agencies and we were making great money. Good time of life, we became debt free and it was we could have just renewed and kept everything the same for the next 365 days. The other path staring at us was an opportunity for Steph to travel nurse um, where we'd be moving to a new city every three months and I would jump in with two feet into my writing career and see if I could make it as a professional writer. So after quitting my job we left we went to Phoenix and I remember having conversations in the car where we would look at each other and say, what the heck are we doing? Did we make the right decision? What are we doing? And so now I can tell you that I'm still restless. There's still a burning desire to live a compelling life that I don't know will ever be fulfilled because it can only be fulfilled by one thing that is the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. So there's this restlessness that I try to fill with work, but I'm happy to say that I'm loving it. We're having a great time, we're seeing the great outdoors of the United States. We're meeting wonderful, awesome, beautiful people. Uh, I'm writing for Inc.com. Entrepreneur's Handbook on Medium has over 28,000 followers, growing at over 100 a day. I've been able to monetize it. I've published my book, Runaway Millionaire. I've launched an app. I just fell over. I launched an app, and I've picked up two part-time jobs as a writer and I can fully construct my, my hours throughout the day as I want them to be. And uh, I'm starting a writing course. Um, I just published an ebook today on uh, atheism. So all that to say is that I love what we're doing. And while I can't wait to plant and find a community where we can be for several years and raise a family starting next year, uh, I wanna encourage you to not let your life plateau. How are you taking risks? What are things that you can do to shake your life up and to embrace change, to find something new, to do something hard? Because that's how you grow. So that's what I wanted to talk about today for my vlog. Thanks for listening. As always, you're welcome to join the hashtag vlogist challenge. Subscribe if you want to uh, get my next video and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bye.